Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, first things first, I got my hair done today. Yup. Um, it took about six and a half hours, but like, I'm super duper satisfied and it's gonna stay in my head for about six months. Probably four, but whatever, we'll see. I am presently prepping for my trip to Barbados that's happening in two weeks. So I know a lot of people who are the crazy kind of people who like to open their suitcase and pack their stuff in the night before they travel and just they're fine with that. I'm not one of those people. I'm one of those people who has to start packing two weeks, literally two weeks today I'm leaving. Um, I have to start now. The temptation when I'm traveling is always to like go out and buy things for my trip. And I don't have money for that. I don't have time for that. I, my budget said no. So it kind of pushed me to a different mindset of like way of thinking, which was how to shop my closet for my trip. That's what this vlog's about. So basically what I do uh, when I'm looking at what I have, I just kind of take everything related to the season that I'm going in. So like I'm going into summer, um, well summer, because it's a tropical island, so it's hot. So I'm just pulling out all of my summer clothes, gonna put them in a huge pile on my bed and then sift through them um, to figure out what I actually would want to wear. So I'm looking for like clothes for the season that I'm going into. The second thing I'm really looking for um, would be clothes that are interchangeable. Also on this trip, a uh, little side note, I plan on vlogging. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I have been doing a lot of research on how to vlog while traveling. Um, I'm not like super duper comfortable like vlogging in front of people like I'm not gonna sit my camera on the tripod in the middle of the airport and talk I'm not gonna do that. I'm not comfortable with that, but I'm excited about that. I've never travel vlogged before so that'll be interesting We'll see how that goes anyways, so I'm gonna go shop my closet and you guys are gonna come with me. All right, let's go So, I've got a pile of clothes on my bed and on my floor, but we're not going to talk about that right now. But, clothes on my bed, and as I was like sorting through them, it kind of just happened that I put them in piles. I'm really not surprised by that. But we have my like, not jackets, but whatever you call them, like shawls or light cardigans. I don't know what you call them. Then we have little summer dresses over here. Then I have my rompers. Then I have tops and then shorts. Don't have a ton of those. I'm missing a pair of black shorts too, but whatever. Oh, and there's a skirt in there somewhere. Um, but this is my mainly like outfits to work with. Um, so from here, I mainly just like, I don't know, pick out what I think I'm actually gonna wear, try to make outfits out of them, and then clump them together. I like when I'm traveling, especially when I'm trying to travel light, I enjoy having clothes that like I can use with multiple like looks basically because I'm an indecisive woman so I might decide that I want to wear these shorts with these tops but like when I get there when I actually put it on I might decide I don't like that anymore I don't pick things that I can only wear a certain type of way I like to pick things that are interchangeable that I can wear at any point in time that I can wear when it's raining and I can wear when it's 90 degrees out because I don't really feel like filling up my entire suitcase with clothing like I don't want to do that and I'm staying at a house it'd be different if I was staying at a hotel that I you know you can't like necessarily wash your clothes or whatever but I'm staying at my grandmother's house if I need to I can wash my shirt I can wash my clothes like I don't have to pack like 12 days worth of stuff while I'm traveling for six days which is what I would normally do if I was staying at a hotel where I could not wash my clothing but anyways that's the next step I'm doing that right now so if you notice I took the denim shorts and I'm placing multiple tops with the denim shorts because denim shorts go with everything. And so I'm kind of placing tops that I can all wear with the same shorts. So already I've got, I don't know, math, but I've got some outfits right here. Again, these are just ideas. Like I'm just gonna, I'm just playing with ideas right now. That's basically how I go about shopping my closet. Um, I just kind of place everything right in front of me. I sort out what I actually think I'm gonna wear 
versus what I'm not. There's still some things that I'm gonna bring that I might not wear like that uh, super cute. <clears throat> this thing, I love this thing, but sometimes my body does not. I'm going to bring it though. And if my body cooperates, then we'll wear it. And if the body does not cooperate and I get super bloated, then we're not gonna wear it. That's the biggest thing I'm doing right now. Like A, to save money and to just not get like caught up into the materialism of it. Um, I just spent money on my hair and that was a really important thing for me like you know you can't go back to the homeland looking <laughs> come on and with the heat and the humidity and all of that I was not gonna chance my 4c hair and think that I was actually gonna be able to retain curls it wasn't happening so instead did the hair if you I don't know have vlogged while traveling please give me some tips I still don't really know what I'm doing I'm just kind of of the mindset that I'm just gonna go off and just do it that's all I've got that's it all right Thank you for watching my video give it a thumbs up if you liked it if you want to see more of this type of content or whatever type of content that i decide to shoot hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll be notified when i post more videos and i am looking forward to seeing you guys again and we will follow up with this part of my uh journey in barbados and traveling and all of that shortly but until then bye